some general aspects on the map. So when you receive the map, please make sure that you guys go and you study the map. Now you've got your key reference at the bottom of both the topographic and the order photo map. And um, use the key, please guys, to see what they represent on the actual topographic map. So we need to have a look here. And I think, you know, what's key is that there's a lot of things showing us, you know, uh, or giving us hints. For example, the one unique hint here is the counter interval of 20 meters. So what does that mean? That means that between every contour line, what is a contour line again? A contour line is a line on the map, brown in color, that indicates the height. Okay, so we've got our contour lines. Here's a contour line, all right, indicating height. Now the contour interval, so between this contour line and the next contour line, there's 20 meters, there's 20 meters difference between these two contour lines. So they're 20 meters apart. Now sometimes the contour lines can be very close to one another, which means that we have a steep slope. So if the contour lines are far apart, then it's a gentle slope. If the contour lines are close to one another, it is a steep slope. Now, you will study that we, we actually went through various types of slopes, not only gentle slopes and steep slopes, but concave and convex slopes as well. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show you, well, I can show you, but uh, I'm not going to show you on this specific map. Um, a concave but if we have to just draw now you can see it smudge a little bit so that's why you've got to wet your cloth a uh, cloth wet your cloth to make sure that you take off all the marks so if you guys can get a cloth thank you it would be great um just wet it on the side and then it's much easier to take off the marks all right so um what did I want to say? Okay, well, well, we were talking about contour lines indicating height. Another way of how height is indicated on the map is a spotite. So here is a spotite right next to the hiking path. Now there's a hiking path, there's a spotite, or spotite also indicates height. Then another feature that indicates height is a benchmark. Now on block C1 over here, you'll find that there's a benchmark right next to the road that also indicates height and then also last but not least is a trigonomical beacon here in block um, g6 now when we talk about g6 block g6 g6 or uh, previously uh, e6 we refer to, oh crap let's we are i'm gonna change this uh, it's just E6, we refer to this as the alpha numerical grid reference number. The alpha, so we start alpha, alphabet, as you can see the letters down the side, and right on top we have the numbers. So if I, we ask you, please identify where, for example, let's take here on the map, where is Spotite? 802 or diggings then you will say alpha numerical grid reference number would be e6 or we go where is spot type 825 located and that's in d10 all right for example okay then there's very then there's a lot of other aspects about map work as well uh, where you've got to identify natural features versus man-made features now be very careful that if, especially if you see on the map, and you, you will have the key here, it indicates, if you look at cultivated land, right? So this whole section here is cultivated land, uh, right next to the river. Cultivated land is a man-made structure. Don't be fooled because it's vegetation, that it's um, 
natural, it's man-made. You also notice a row of trees right next to the cultivated area. Now these rows of trees have also been planted and that's why they will also classify as man-made units. Okay, so what is the function of the row of trees? They act as a windbreaker um, for the um, cultivated area. Now, a natural feature on this map would be, of course, the Orange River. The Orange River is not man-made. It's a natural feature. Um, we have also the non-perennial rivers also, um, you know, along the, also on the map indicated. And then we'll also notice that we've got, if we look at the, the um, there's, it's not a dry pan, um, but we've got a sprite here, okay? Also, that's natural. So those features are natural. Also, other man-made features, of course, is a road, um, a house, a building, etc. Hiking trail is also um, man-made. Then you can get questions, for example, um, you will definitely get questions based on the topographic, on the autophoto map, um, that's based on the topographic map. Well, in the auto photo map, we can normally, it's very, it's much more clearer, but of course not on this one because the area is very flat. And for example, a, a thing that just pops up here is that you can see that there's a red block here drawn on the map. Okay. And this red block, the top, uh, the auto photo map on the right hand side is an extract from this topographic map. And if you look at the auto photo map here, you'll notice that the area is fairly flat because the contour dif difference on a um, auto photo map is five meters. Um, what's also very important is that because if an area is flat, it makes it more suitable for farming. So questions can be asked like, why is farming prominent in the area well this would be a very obvious answer because it's got a permanent source of water the orange river running through the area and of course also um, adjacent to the river the the area is very flat which makes it easier for farming because it's very difficult if you have to farm in a steeper area and using using heavy machinery now i've just i've literally touched on some basic aspects of map work if there's any more questions that you've guys got about map work please ask me please remember also to study the features about the differences between a topographic and an auto photo map um, you'll notice that also um, you know there was a thing in the notes like what's what's so what's the unique features about an auto photo map um, about the texture, you know, if it's got a smooth texture, rough texture, what does it indicate and uh, various things. Um, but like I said, if you guys got questions, please just drop it in the comment uh, section and you guys can feel free to ask.